Good afternoon. My name is Lainey Shaw, and I am the first vice president for the National Hampton Alumni Association Incorporated. Thank you for joining us for Reunion 2020. As first vice president, it is my esteemed honor to welcome you to this exciting event. This weekend, we will highlight the hard work and the dedication that each reunion class has put forth to keep Hampton moving forward and to help ensure that our shared legacy as Hamptonians will continue far into the future. What is reunion? It's an exciting time where classes come together to celebrate, to reminisce, and to think about memories from when they were at Hampton University. It's also a time to come together and to think about the contributions that you want to make to the university. We ask that you enjoy the weekend that has been put together for you. We invite you to sit back, to relax, and enjoy this virtual celebration of Reunion Weekend. Thank you. Hello, my name is James T. George, and I serve on the Board of Trustees of Hampton University. Thank you for joining us today for this virtual homecoming reunion. As a proud alumnus of our home by the sea, class of 1958, I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak to you today on the true meaning of community. To me, community started when we were students at Hampton University, and that just wasn't yesterday. That community has continued uh, over the years, um, both in the social context and a career enhancement concept and a business concept. Uh, our class leader, Margaret Ford, is lives in Chicago and she exchanges emails, she passes on information, she makes sure that we stay in touch with each other. We help each other financially, we help each other socially, and certainly help each other career-wise. And we promote Hampton University in every way that we can, whenever we can. So stay in touch, keep the community intact. Thank you. The O, the N, the Y, the X, the O, the N, the Y, the S, it's Onyx. Hello everybody, my name is Shatira Smith and I'm representing the best class in the world, class of 2005, Onyx 6. And I'm here to share with you what it means to be an alumni. You know, like I share with so many people, I, I, I tell them that it's a privilege and an honor to be an alumni at Hampton University. Um, Hampton was one of the greatest experiences of my life. I've learned so many great values that has helped me to, you know, maneuver through this thing we call life. It helped me to be the woman that I am today. You know, when I sit and think about my experience, I just feel like, you know, Hampton has given me so much. And I can, oh, the only thing I can do is just represent my alma mater the best way I can and uphold that standard of excellence. I'm grateful to say I, that I attend Hampton University and I'm grateful to say that I'm an alumni. And like we always say, it's just different. I am a proud Hampton grad. Being an alumnus means creating legacy and paving the way for those who follow me, including my daughter who is QT11. I represent Hampton in everything I do by exhibiting that standard of excellence that Hampton poured into me those four years I was there. I developed relationships, friendships, and created family. And to this day, even those people I didn't know while at Hampton, I'm still developing great relationships. Being an alumnus means giving back through money, through time, and through effort. I'm grateful for the time that I spent at Hampton University. I'm doubly proud that my daughter is continuing the legacy and I look forward to her experiencing the lifelong relationships that I've experienced and our lives will continue to sing through her children and her children's children. What does it mean to be a Hampton alum? For me, it means being a part of such a rich legacy, one that's deeply rooted in tradition at a place where you can create memories with some of the most amazing people on earth. One of my favorite Hampton memories was the night Barack Obama won the presidency. I remember taking a second to look around as me and my QC7 classmates celebrated the win 
and the energy was explosive. We were so proud. We were so excited for the future. And that's what Hampton's all about. Being proud of who you are, defying conventions, and be excited for your future. Hampton is just different. Greetings, Hamptonians. My name is Gina Pemberton, and I'm your National Hampton Alumni Association President. I want to thank you all Hampton alumni for joining us today for this virtual reunion 2020 celebration. As alumni, Hampton, our home by the sea, continues to be a treasured place in our hearts. And for many of us represents some of the most memorable uh, times and moments of our lives. Reunion is a time we set aside every five years to reminisce, catch up with old friends and classmates, learn about the current health and stability of Hampton, and celebrate the fundraising efforts of each reunion class. And we have so many reasons to celebrate. Working together, Hamptonians affect change, whether it's in business or in our communities or amongst our children. Our power is absolutely undeniable. So please get involved and stay connected. If you haven't already, please join a local chapter. And if you don't have a local chapter, don't worry. We are happy to help you start one. When we work together, Hamptonians, there is nothing that can stop us. Thank you for being here today and showing that your commitment to keeping Hampton's legacy strong is a priority. Congratulations to all on your reunion year and especially to the class of 1970. Welcome to the Emeritus class. Continue everyone to celebrate well and enjoy today's event, Hamptonians. Hello, I'm Andre DeBose, class of 80, Ubiquity the one and only. Like many of you, um, I was just a bright eyed kid when I came to Hampton, interested in good times, fast cars, go-go, and not much else. Trying to be as irresponsible as I thought I could get away with. But indulge me for a minute. Reunion weekend and homecoming weekend are both great events, fun events, but different events. Reunion weekend is geared toward connecting as a class every five years to reminisce about the good times and the bad times and to provide financial support to the university in a more structured, uh, coordinated way um, with your class. Your interaction with other five-year classes is also uh, something that happens at reunion weekend. The other side of the coin is homecoming. Homecoming is more of a free-for-all, unstructured, um, uh, no picnic, no graduation, no banquet. Folks aren't as tied to doing everything with their class, maybe other than a hospitality suite, but you get to reconnect with folks that were either a year ahead of you, a year behind you, two years ahead, two years behind, and there are more private gatherings, parties, and, and sweet hopping during homecoming. Both events are ways to connect and share your experiences, and those connections warm the heart. They warm everybody's heart. So if you're participating in this virtual homecoming, it's because you either want to see how they were going to pull it off, or maybe you're interested in connecting with someone who you haven't seen for five years, 10 years, uh, in some cases, you know, 20 years. Um, so that these are, are both good things, good memories to have. Um, but at the end of the day, we all want to see Hampton making moves and doing positive things. I think we, uh, we have a lot to be proud of. Uh, look at the federal, the foundation grants that are coming into the university, establishment of the uh, air traffic controller program, sailing team, the Proton Beam Cancer Center, the lacrosse team, who would have thought? Um, we continuously set ourselves apart from our peers. With that, we have to understand that our leadership has the responsibility and obligation to ensure that the university remains at the top of its game and very viable in advances in today's technologically advanced landscape. In order to execute that strategy, external funding is imperative, whether it's from alumni, uh, government grants, uh, cooperatives, corporations, nonprofits, et cetera. Um, we need to keep pursuing these grants. However, guess what? There's a trick there. External grantors one of the first things they want to see is how the university alumni support the school. So that is uh, just one thing I want to make everyone aware of. So it's it's a cycle. You know, when we give back, we can attract more funds uh, from the outside. So my good friend Michael Bird and I were immediate past co-leads for alumni giving. So we saw firsthand the impact 
the difference that alumni giving makes. And it doesn't matter how much. So we've also learned that life sometimes gives you an opportunity to make a difference in someone's life. Also, you learn how you shouldn't go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands. You need to be able to throw something back sometimes and the alumni gift really matters. We want future classes to be able to return to a university that they can be proud of. So if that's not a reason to give back, I don't know. Thank you very much. Peace. Hello, I'm Freeman Rabowski, one of the co-leaders of the unforgettable class of 1970. This is our 50th and it is an amazing time in the life of this country, in the life of Hampton and in all of our lives. When we get together as co-leaders, first of all, Dr. Deidre Johnson and Marsha Bembry and our classmates, we think about the unconditional love and the ways in which we grew up together at our home by the sea. And we think about the trials and tribulations and the achievements and the ways in which we have supported each other during the time at Hampton and over this past five decades. It has been an amazing journey. And so when you think about the class of 70, think about passion and excellence and great pride in our alma mater and in ourselves. We can't help but give because we believe in our beloved Hampton. Here is our 1970s yearbook. Never to be forgotten. Thank you. Greetings, fellow Hamptonians. I'm Roz Richards, class leader for the class of 75. I want to first thank the Office of Alumni Affairs for providing us this opportunity to celebrate our 45th class reunion virtually. Our reunions have been great times for gathering with old friends and reminiscing about the past, the good old days, and sharing our current life stories. It's also been a time to remember those that we've lost. We were unable to be together this time, but that makes us even more committed to looking forward to our next big milestone, our 50th golden anniversary reunion in 2025. We commit that we will work hard to increase our participation from the 85 we had at our 40th reunion, increase our giving goal annually and achieving it over the next five years. Hampton hugs to all of you and enjoy the celebration. Hello, I'm Jeff Silverthorne, Oga Phi Oga Phi, class of 1985. Class reunions are a celebration of the fun, friends, and memories that were created on the yard at Hampton University. At graduation, we become alums of Hampton University and begin our careers, family, and life after Hampton University. The reunions are every five years where you get a chance to celebrate and remember and reminisce about life and the fond memories at our home by the sea. As we gather together each year, we think about all of the great times that we shared and all of the things that have happened since we left Hampton University and we celebrate and remember and fellowship. There's nothing like a class reunion at Hampton University. Greetings, Hampton University. This is Kim Varner from the class of 1990 Dynasty. I must say that Dynasty loves a good party. So about five or 10 years ago, we took over the third floor of Spring Hill Suites. Uh, we actually danced until the sun came up. It was about six or seven in the morning. People were getting ready for commencement and we were still dancing. That's what we do. Uh, we, uh, our classmate George Pugh was being recognized by the university that year as an outstanding alumnus. And so we stayed up long enough to make sure George could get up and be recognized for his special honor. We uh, love to get together and rekindle old friendships and make new friendships as well. 
And so I encourage everyone to come out to the next reunion and continue to give back to our home by the sea. Take care and be safe. Greetings, Hamptonians. Welcome to the 2020 virtual reunion celebration. Although this year's event is being conducted in a different format, it is still a great reason to celebrate an extraordinary place, our home by the sea. The onset of COVID-19 upended the world last year and the university was forced to make adjustments in response to the pandemic. Hosting a virtual celebration is just one of those adjustments. Since we missed having the annual alumni banquet, I would like to provide you with a brief update on your home by the sea. All of you know about the $30 million that we got from Ms. McKenzie Scott. Last month, Hampton received uh, a visit from the United States Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, and Assistant Secretary Scott Stump on our campus for a Workforce Development Roundtable. During that session, the Secretary personally announced a gift of $17,700,000 in funding from the Department of Education to support Hampton's Virginia Workforce Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center. The university has received congratulatory notes and comments from all over the country. We were especially pleased to see comments from our two Virginia senators. This grant is funded by the CARES Act, which was passed by Congress and signed by the President. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the CARES Act generates funding for a plethora of strategies and programs, including stipend support for students. The segment of funding allocated for the Workforce Development Grant was a competition, and it was designed to support businesses and the unemployed workers impacted by COVID-19. Only eight grants were awarded, and of those, only two were awarded to universities. Hampton University's principal investigator for this winning proposal was Dr. Kermit Crawford, and the co-principal investigator was Dr. Glenda Evans. I want to thank them, as well as the committee, for their hard work and establishing partnerships with the Virginia Board of Workforce Development and Old Dominion University. The objective of this project is to establish a statewide small business incubator to assist aspiring entrepreneurs who are displaced, unemployed, or whose jobs are no longer necessary due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The project will promote business development and innovation as pathways to economic recovery during the pandemic. To my knowledge, Hampton is the first and only HBCU in the nation to lead such a high level statewide effort in workforce development. This project will provide education, training, mentoring, networking, support, office and technological resources to aspiring business owners transitioning entrepreneurs and assisting those currently engaged in entrepreneurship. The project will restore the economic viability of those who have been unemployed, displaced, or their jobs have become obsolete by COVID-19. Another seven-figure grant we got was from Dr. Deborah Hagens, the university chaplain. She got a million-dollar grant from the Lilly Foundation to help establish the uh, art collection extending Christian discipline throughout the arts and technology. This comes on top of a million dollar grant that she already has. And the aim of this million dollar grant uh, is for the National Initiative to strengthen Christian congregations so they can help people deepen their relationships with God, build strong relationships with each other, and contribute to the flourishing of local communities and the world. The overarching purpose of the grant is to expand and enrich the work of the church and offer training and development in the use of technology and the arts to attract and offer uh, Christ to the growing number of religiously unaffiliated youth and adults. The goals of our proposed program becomes operational through a module-based delivery system of five pathways 
designed to study foundational components of congregational life and activity. In addition to receiving competitive grant funds, we were fortunate enough to be selected by Thermal Fisher to provide COVID-19 testing for all faculty, staff, and students at HBCUs in Virginia and West Virginia. As part of this partnership, the Gates Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates, is donating $1.5 million so that we can provide testing to the wider populations of Hampton Roads. A portion of the recent $30 million gift from Ms. McKenzie Scott will also be used for this project. As you can see, despite the pandemic, Hampton University is moving forward. Your support of your alma mater helps us to continue to ensure that Hampton remains the standard of excellence. Congratulations again, Hamptonians, on setting a new alumni giving record for last year. You gave uh, over $3.5 million in annual contributions. This was the most that our wonderful alumni has ever contributed in a single year. And I want to thank Ms. Brent Martin and her team, as well as particularly those class leaders that were so instrumental in this $3.5 million. You are to be commended for your dedication to your alma mater. Thank you for your generosity and your continued support. Since our founding, some things at Hampton have changed. However, one thing has not changed. When you, the alumni, come together and support your alma mater with your treasure, you continue to have a profound and powerful impact on the lives, scholarship, and future of Hampton University and indeed the nation. I look forward to the time when we can join together in person to celebrate our beloved Hampton. Hello friends, I am Wallace Arnold, a graduate of the class of 1960 from Hampton Institute, now Hampton University. I am also a retired senior military officer and I have the great privilege of being the class leader for the Emeritus class. I believe very strongly that the lifeblood for private colleges and universities uh, comes from benefactors and the alumni. So we are uh, here today to speak just a, a little uh, to that. Uh, certainly, it is a wonderful privilege to have the opportunity to support a, a school like Hampton University uh, because Hampton is where I started. Hampton has sustained me uh, and Hampton has allowed me to be where I am today. So it is a very pleasant obligation uh, for me to support uh, Hampton University. I uh, support Hampton with service, uh, with monetary gifts, and with the sustainment of an endowed scholarship. Uh, certainly, uh, this is easy to do, as most of us would like to ensure uh, that Hampton University continues to provide excellent education uh, for young men and women, and we want that to continue well on into the future. That is why I support uh, and give to Hampton University. My friends, I'm all in for Hampton University. I received a tremendous set of gifts from Hampton University. Um, the gift of being able to be myself and become myself at the same time. Hampton University normalized being black and ambitious, being black and empowered, and Hampton basically normalized black excellence for me. It was everywhere in all things. I of course grew up black, but my Hampton experience, the leadership, professors, staff, and the overall environment gave me a gift of legacy and showed me what it meant to be black excellence as a whole. So I give because I consider myself a steward of that legacy. And I'm particularly responsible to make it possible for others to receive the same gifts. More than a curriculum, more than a degree, at Hampton University, I received a lifelong community. I received the gift of relationships that fostered a greater sense of self and a lifelong and lifelong friendships that are like family. 
And additionally, lastly, I give because I know a donation can change the trajectory of a family. Our donations can be the thing that allow a family to be able to send their child to a college or university. Progress for Black people is still in motion and our donations can be all the difference. This is my why. My name's Abba Nagru and I represent the class of 2000. So proud of my class, we exceeded our goal. Why I give, I went to three schools in my entire life and two of them closed due to lack of funding. I cannot allow that to be what happens to Hampton. That's what motivates me to donate. I have to keep that school open so that other students can go. They can have the great time that I had. They can connect with wonderful people, peers, as well as faculty and administration. And I mean, the campus is beautiful, so can't let the school close. It's so important to keep HBCUs open. We need that. It's a fabric of the African American experience in America. That's why I donate. This is my why. My name is Rich Parker from the class of 2005, Onyx 6. And if you wanna know why I give, it's simple. Hampton has given so much to me that it's only right that I give a little something back to Hampton. Hampton has given me an education for life, friendships that have stood the test of time, memories that will endure forever, and a foundation that has helped shape me into the man that I am today. Hampton is my heart, my home, my happy place. And let's be honest, we have the best homecoming on earth. So if you wanna know why I give, this is my why. Some of my best memories are from college. I laughed, I cried, I partied, of course I studied, and I met lifelong friends. I wanna make sure that future students can enjoy our home by the sea just as I did, but with state-of-the-art facilities and amenities. The second reason I give is because I was always taught to pay it forward. My mother, also a Hampton alum, has been donating for decades. And the late Dr. Gladys Hope Franklin White, affectionately known to me as my mother dear, always gave with an open heart and led her emeritus class in donating for decades. But most importantly, I myself was a scholarship recipient, thanks to alumni donations. I wouldn't be where I am today without the strong foundation I received at Hampton University. I give to support my fellow pirates, I give to support their education, and I give to continue the legacy of paying it forward. This is my why. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tyel Hayes, and I am one of your alumni giving co-chairs of the NHAA. And we are super excited today to be here to talk to you about the alumni giving your contributions as, a, as we embark on this rich tradition of giving back to Hampton for us and by us. I wanna congratulate all the classes on your hard work. This was an unprecedented year of change as we all had to be flexible in how we, how we raise money, how we connected with our classmates and how we motivated everyone. But as you will see tonight, we hit some amazing milestones and we could not be more proud of you here at NHAA. I send my thanks and congratulations from our president, Ms. Gina Pemberton, and my, and my other co-chair, Jeff, Jeff Silverstone. We are so proud of the work you've done. And now I wanna walk you all through the, the, the totals. Drum roll, please. We're gonna start off with the class of 2015. The five-year giving goal for the class of 2015 was... <music> The past five year giving history for the class of 2010 is. The five year history for the class of 2005 is. The five year giving history for the class of 2000 is. The five-year giving history for the class of 1995 is... The five-year giving history of the class of 1990 is... The five-year giving history for the class of 1985 is...
The five year given history for the class of 1980 is. The five year given history for the class of 1975 is. The golden class of 1970s five year given history is. And now we've reached the Emeritus class. We want to take, take a special moment and say thank you to the Emeritus class. You all have been trailblazers in shining a light for all of us younger alum as we march towards that Emeritus status. We're so proud of what you do and we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your continued contributions. Now, without further ado, the five year giving history for the Emeritus class is. I want to give a round of applause and say a special thank you to everyone out there, all of our class co-chairs. You all have spent so much time and dedication pulling your classes together, bringing the community together, and doing something that ultimately is for us, by us. That's the beauty of tonight. Tonight is something that we did for ourselves. We raised money for our beloved university to really help further the cause and traditions of Hampton. On behalf of the entire Hampton Alumni Association, our president, Ms. Gina Pepperton, and Jeff Silverthorne, my other co-chair, we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts and Godspeed. As we gather together to celebrate Reunion 2020, we want to take a moment to honor those reunion class members that are no longer with us. Please join me for a brief moment of remembrance as we acknowledge those Hamptonians that have passed on. We thank them for their contributions to their alma mater. Please join me in this brief moment of silence. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brent Martin, Assistant Vice President for Alumni Affairs. I really hope that you've enjoyed our program this evening. Although we were unable to be together, I want you to know we really missed your smiling faces and your wonderful stories this past May. Before we close the program, I would like to first thank all of our wonderful alumni volunteers, our National Hampton Alumni Association Incorporated members, as well as my staff for making this a wonderful and most successful year for our alumni and in alumni giving. Again, I really hope you enjoyed our program. Please be sure to tune into the remainder of our events this weekend. Thank you and have a great evening.